is up guys, I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video and today's video is another weapon comparison video. Today's weapon comparison is my second comparison between two melee weapons, the first one being a comparison between the Mr. DJ UP2 and the Fire Orb UP2, which by the way is a very good comparison and I definitely recommend you guys to check that video out. I'll have a link to it down below in the description, but for today's video, we are going to be comparing one of the most infamous weapons in Pixelgun 3D, the Storm Hammer, and one of the newest weapons in Pixelgun 3D, the Candy Baton. Which weapon is better? Now. First things first, both of these weapons are very differently obtainable. If you go click the button, which is the gift right underneath the Christmas tree, you will see that this is a gift opening area. And this is how you get the candy baton. Technically, you can get the candy baton absolutely free if you are lucky enough to click the open now button when you do have the one free daily opening. Some people are lucky enough to get that, but for me personally, it took me around 150 openings to actually obtain the weapon, so that's around 450 gems, which is very, very expensive for one single melee weapon. The Storm Hammer is set at a fixed price right here in the shop, so you don't have to worry about spending nothing or an absurd amount to get the Storm Hammer. Now, when we look at the stats of the weapon, the Storm Hammer has a 24 lethality, an 84 attack, a 120 mobility, and it has a small area damage. Now when we look at the Candy Baton, this one does not have that area damage, but this one does have a higher lethality, which is set at 27, and a higher attack, which is set at 92. This one has the same mobility set at 120. Now, both of those weapons, before I actually delve into a match here, I do want to recommend trying to get the Berserk Boots UP2 and the Berserk Cape right here, which both of these help your gameplay a lot better when actually in matches using these weapons, because as you guys can see with the Berserk Cape, it does increase your armor. So I have Ruby armor, it will give me full Adamant armor, or almost full Adamant armor, and this one does increase the chances of you ignoring a headshot when somebody is using, say, the prototype or something like that when it is a one-shot kill. The Berserk Boots allow a double jump and definitely increases your movement speed when using those weapons. So it's very helpful using the Berserk Boots, especially because when using a melee weapon, you have to be very up close and personal when using it if you really want to kill any people. And if those people are a good ways away, you want to be able to move fast enough so they really don't have much of a time to react so you can kill them without them killing you first. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to jump into this Colosseum match here. This is probably one of the best maps for a melee weapon. It's one of the smallest weapons, we maps, not weapons, maps in Pixel Gun 3D. And you're going to get some of the best gameplay that you can possibly get when using these weapons in these maps. So both these weapons are very good, like I said at the very beginning. Regardless which one you choose, you will get some of the best gameplay possible in maps like Colosseum using both of these weapons. Here's somebody who does not have adamant armor and it really can take them out absolutely absolutely devastating when using the candy baton and that goes the same with the storm hammer. Now, like I said at the very beginning when looking at the weapons in the shop menu, the storm hammer does have a small area damage and that is very, very crucial when using the weapon. Therefore, if you are somebody who's not very accurate when using a melee weapon and sometimes you kind of just hold down the swinging button like, you know, like what people would call an idiot sometimes, in all honesty, like kind of just flailing around swinging, hoping to hit somebody, then maybe the storm hammer is the better chance because you don't have to directly hit an enemy player when using it. The candy baton, on the other hand, might have a slightly higher lethality, but you have to directly hit an enemy player. As you guys can see, if I was using the storm hammer, I would have killed some people already, but this one you have to directly hit an enemy player if you do want to kill them when using the candy baton. Both of these weapons are melee weapons, so you have an infinite amount of swings that you can possibly use the weapons. I mean, you don't really need to hold down the swinging button indefinitely, but if you do want to, you do have that option. When using the Storm Hammer, as you guys can see, it still is a fantastic weapon. Both of them are very, very powerful, and like I said, regardless which one you choose, you will still get great gameplay with them. Now, one thing to mention is the Storm Hammer is a weapon where a lot of people hate when others using. I personally really dislike when somebody uses this and they have full adamant armor just because, in all honesty, you, you would pro probably pretty much devastate anybody that you would encounter when using this weapon. 
but this weapon can result in good gameplay and you know some people don't just don't care really what other people think and you know a majority of the time I would say that you don't really need to care what other people think when using the weapon but that's just something to keep in mind if you are somebody who really does not have that strong of like self-conscious or something like that I've seen really really nasty things being said in the chat to people with the storm hammer so just keep that in mind when you're deciding between the two weapons and another thing is with the candy baton when you have that faster swinging rate you do have a better chance of taking people out if you are directly hitting them regardless of which weapon you choose um, sometimes if you are going up against an adamant armored player you will have a better chance taking them out with the candy baton but which one really is better? That's really the thing that you guys are wanting to know, the ultimate decision as to which one is better. Now, for me personally, for me, Exotic Gaming, the one that I actually tend to get a little bit better gameplay with when using is actually the Candy Cane, the Candy Baton. I tend to get better gameplay when using that weapon than I do with the Storm Hammer. But every person is different. Every Pixel Gun 3D player is different, and some people get better gameplay with the Storm Hammer just because the Storm Hammer does have that area damage. Now, truthfully, most people won't be able to get the Candy Baton because they won't have 500 gems lying around just wasting it on a gift opening. So, the truth of the matter is, most people will have the Storm Hammer and very few people will have the Candy Baton. But, if you are lucky enough to get the Candy Baton from the gift opening, I pretty confidently will say that you will get better gameplay when using that weapon than you would with, with the Storm Hammer. Just because I feel like with this one, since it has a much faster swinging rate, you'll have a much better overall gameplay when using this weapon than you would with, with the Storm Hammer. Because the Storm Hammer does have a pretty slow swinging rate. And if you miss, well, then you have a pretty long time between each swing to be able to kill that enemy player. And if the enemy player has something like, for example, right here, the Social Uzi, which has a constant firing rate, or the Dragon Breath, which is another one that fires very, very fastly, the time between swings will pretty much be the ultimate death for you. So you have to be very accurate when using the Storm Hammer and make sure that each of your shots will successfully hit the enemy player if you do want to do that. If you are somebody who's not as accurate, then, well, maybe the Candy Baton is for you because you can hold down the swing button a lot faster, you can fire a lot faster, and you might get better gameplay because of that. But, on the flip side, because you do have the faster swinging rate with the Candy Baton, the Storm Hammer does have that area damage. So as long as you stay in a close range map, then you should get some overall decent gameplay with that. It's a very close trade-off, honestly. A faster swinging rate with the Candy Baton versus a small area damage with the Storm Hammer. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm clearly not hitting the enemy player right directly on their body, but since it does have that small area damage, it is able to take the people out nonetheless. You can even pretty much swing at people backwards, in all honesty, if I'm lucky enough to hit somebody like this, then I will show you guys that you do not even need to face the enemy player in order to kill them, like I will attempt to do right here. It's, it's a little difficult, honestly. Um, I always recommend when, whenever you're using a weapon, even if it has area damage, to, you know, go towards that enemy player, look at that enemy player, so you can be sure of getting that swing. But then again, I mean, hey, the Storm Hammer has that double kill capability. You can kill two people out, or even more, depending on how close they're right next to each other, with one single shot. Right there, that person I killed, Good King, was a perfect example of being able to kill somebody without actually looking directly at them. But then again, with the Storm Hammer, like I just said, that one does have the multi-kill capability in one single swing. The Candy Cane can only take out one single player at a single time. So, there are very big trade-offs with both of these weapons, and because of that, you can pretty much get very similar gameplay with both of them if you manage to join a match where not everybody has, you know, an assault rifle or the prototype or something like that, where that one probably will do better than both of these weapons. But, like I said, you will get better gameplay with the Candy Cane generally, um, at least if you're me, I... I tend to see people get better gameplay with the candy cane regardless in which match that I join. If I do see anybody with the candy cane, um, they do get very, very good gameplay regardless which armor level that they have as well. So if you're somebody who has gold armor, you will still be able to get very good gameplay with the candy cane. 
And even if you have gold armor with the storm hammer as well, you'll still get some pretty good gameplay with it. Now, if you were to go 1v1 head to head storm hammer versus candy cane, it's a very difficult decision to see which one actually is better. But, like I said, I have to say that the candy cane is probably a slightly better weapon. Just because that one has the faster swinging rate, a lot faster swinging rate than the Storm Hammer, and with that faster swinging rate, you will probably be able to take the person out a lot easier than you would with, with the Storm Hammer. And in all honesty, even though it doesn't say it, I feel like the Candy Baton does have a small area damage. It doesn't really seem like it maybe from this video, but for me, when I use it, I don't really know why, but it feels like it has a small area damage. To the people who have the Candy Baton, does it seem like that for you as well? I'd like to hear in your comments what it does feel like for you. But for the Storm Hammer, it for sure has that pretty big area damage and you know you can take people out without even really looking at them if you really want to. Like that person right there. I will show you guys against the guy. Well, there's a mech. That's it's it's pretty difficult to take the mechs out, but it can be done. Um, like right there, I showed you guys that you can take the mechs out. But then again, you have to be very accurate because if you miss that one shot with the storm hammer, between the two shots, that person can easily take you out with the little mech thing. So keep that in mind when determining which one to get. But my overall opinion is it's probably better to get the candy baton over the storm hammer. But if you do not have all of those extra gems lying around where you really don't want to waste all of that all that precious gems that you have on a weapon um, and maybe not even eventually getting that in the gift box because there's no guarantee since it is a completely luck based weapon you might never ever get that in the gift so you might be very unlucky and even unluckier than I was and because of that well the storm hammer might be the better chance just because you'll be guaranteed to get that if you do have the price allotted for the weapon so overall guys candy baton if you are willing to actually get it but if you are somebody who's tight on coin well they're both very expensive regardless but if you are somebody who's tight on coins then uh, I'd probably say that you would probably be better with the storm hammer even though I really dislike it when people use the storm hammer in all honesty this is a comparison I have to be Unbiased when doing it, it's probably better with the storm hammer just because um, it's much better chance of you actually getting it. But if you are somebody who already has the storm hammer, and probably a majority of the people watching this already do have the storm hammer, then well, you know, you might want to potentially try to get the candy baton because as you guys can see here, I'm devastating these people really, really easily. Like most of these people are dying from my candy cane, and it's crazy to think that just a little candy cane is taking people out, but it sure is. One of the most powerful weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I've had an awesome time using it so far, and I plan on using it as my melee weapon of choice a majority of the time. I probably won't be using most other melee weapons. This is probably going to be the one that I will use when in a competitive battle. Um, most people know that I don't gener generally use the Storm Hammer too much when I do use it in battle. Um, just because I, I honestly feel a little unfair when using the storm hammer just just a tad bit unfair just because of that big area damage but um, you know not really that much to get the candy cane is still a fantastically powered weapon and I still say that the candy cane is still a much better weapon of choice because I've not seen anybody raging yet aside for possibly when I did the candy baton review just recently um, raging that I'm using the candy cane because it's not really a weapon that um, has like no skill involved you do have to have some level of skill when using this weapon if you really want to actually get kills you can't just blindly swing around hoping that you might kill somebody you have to be aiming at the person and that's how you will be able to kill the enemy players so yeah guys candy baton that's the way to go I promise you you will get better gameplay with the candy baton generally than you would with with the storm hammer there are times where you will get better gameplay with the storm hammer but generally you're probably going to get better gameplay with with the candy baton so your ages old question or at least until the time that this update was released when this weapon was introduced into the game is now answered candy baton is better than the storm hammer so that's pretty much it for this little, little uh, comparison guys I really hope you guys did enjoy this this is my very first video that I'm recording after my vacation so I hope the commentary was alright since I haven't really done a commentary in about two weeks 
I have to get back into the commentary swing of things like I always do whenever I go on vacation. So hopefully this was good enough for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this, then be sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. Be sure to go check out both the reviews on I did on both of these weapons. I reviewed both the Storm Hammer and the Candy Baton. The Candy Baton quite recently and the Storm Hammer about five months ago. So the Storm Hammer is an older weapon and, uh, you know, it still is a fantastic melee weapon. So, like I said, I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Be sure to go check out that review or comparison on the Fire Orb and the Mr. DJ, like I said before at the beginning of the video, because you guys will see a great comparison between those two. Also check out the other ones I have done between two other weapons. I've done one on the heavy shotgun versus the predator. I've done one on the snowball gun versus the avalanche. I've also done one on the gorilla rifle versus the elephant hunter. So you guys should definitely check all of those out and that's pretty much it for this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe like I said before and let's go right up until I die. There's a, a double kill. All right. We're going to try to see if we can get, like, some multi-kill or something like that. Don't know if that's going to happen, but that would be awesome if we do. There's a... Oh, there's a triple kill, multi-kill. All right. We're actually doing, like, what we wanted to do. And there we did. So we died. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode.